I'm at five subscribers. So this is a little impromptu video. You're probably gonna hear the family in the background. I kind of locked myself in this room, but I've got a uh, um, new product here that I just kind of want to, I don't think it's brand new. I think they've had it around for a while, but it's by Oasis Benches, who actually makes my bench, that, that back there. But uh, this is kind of like a lazy Susan for spools. So, um, you know, thread spools, pretty cool product. It's heavy duty, um, just like all their products. And, um, you know, like I said, they're who makes this. Um, this is my, my tying bench. Sorry for the bad camera work here, guys, but this is my tying bench. I love it. I think it's a really good bench. And, um, I mean, it's really heavy duty. I mean, there's some less expensive benches out there. This is not the only brand out there that makes benches. But this is, I think, some of the highest quality benches that you can get. I mean, this thing, I've had it for two years and um, never, never had any issues with it. Nothing's broken on it. They're just heavy duty, really well made um, wood benches and they just I mean they hold you know holds a lot of stuff um, really well thought out of how how it's designed and I so I love this bench again by Oasis benches but they sell other stuff too like uh, you know tabletop you know organizers and stuff for different stuff is there here we go spool spinner they call it but it's like elite like I said a lazy Susan for spools I'll put it together here on camera for you guys so you can see it all right, here we go, guys. Let's see if I can put it together here. So, a little instructional thing here. Taping 16 of the brass rods to a larger disc. Tapping, sorry, not taping. All right, looks like I'll need some kind of hammering tool. I know, it's not a hammer, guys. I'm gonna go grab a hammer. Oh, don't over tap as the brass rods can bend. <laughs> See, I went in with the... Oh, they're not bent, luckily. Um, you can hear the sound change when you reach the bottom of the hole, and yep. Alright, so. The dowel has been pre drilled screw hole, it has a pre drilled screw hole at the end, alright. That is on top. Place the other end into the hole at the base, you get the version that came. If you get the version that came with the base, it's very light fit. Tap with the hammer or mallet to fit in the hole. Yep, on the base. So the other end, so this one has the hole. Bump. And it says it's not coming out once it's done. That's true. If you have any uh, uh, one of those suspensions, they all come with two or four holes towards the back of the bench, which will make this addition convenient. So in the back here, there's some holes that you could actually, in the back of my bench, let's see if I can, back here, see this thing? I've got this, which is an extra piece that I, you know, holds flies and whatnot. I'm guessing that's what they're talking about. It just fits right into there. Okay, and then you could actually have it on your bench, which is pretty cool. Slide the larger disc on top of the dowel. Place screw through the top disc. Screw in the hole on top of the dowel. <clears throat> Need a screwdriver, I'll be right back guys. I'll have to find this ridiculously long screwdriver, but hey, it'll work. Oh, and then these. So I'm guessing, probably want to put those on first. 
Oh, in the beginning it says here, I see I gotta read a little better guys. In a larger desk and then the other eight into the smaller desk. I gotta put these on first. Super simple design, and these actually are pretty inexpensive. I mean, comparably to their bench, um, I think their bench is in the you know couple hundred dollar range, um, could like two fifty to three hundred, somewhere around there. It could be even, could be even more. I'm forgetting, but um, yeah. So there we go. You just load it up with your spools. Looks like it'll fit three spools per section here. Pretty cool. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I mean, what, 70 something? It probably says here, yeah, 72 with base. So I'm guessing it holds 72. So that's pretty cool, guys. Um, holds a bunch of different spools. I'm probably going to take down this thing that I got hanging on the wall. We'll see. And we'll use that. It really doesn't take up a lot of room. Let's see. Let's stick it back somewhere. They have stuff like that that's really cool. They have um, another thing that uh, I've seen that it holds um, uh, like flash, you know, like the flash hanks. That's pretty cool. And it's a spinner also, so you can just, you know, grab what you need, cut off what you need. Um, it's similar to that. So they've got a couple cool items besides just benches, but they really, really have some some of the best benches I've ever seen. And again, high quality. This stuff, this is not going to break. I mean, none of their stuff is going to go. Um, you're going to pay a little premium for it because it's handmade wooden stuff. But if you want the best stuff, you know, um, it really, really is good quality and looks good too. I mean, this, this is a good looking setup, so... Um, go ahead and check them out, Oasis Benches. They're, uh, they're really nice there, great customer service. Um, I've chatted with the, um, I think he's the owner, uh, many times, and very nice guy every time I talk to him. And, I mean, I did pay for my bench. Um, he honestly gave me a little bit of a discount um, before. This he did send, I just want to let you guys know, he did send this to me for free. Um, he just wanted me to have it, um, probably wanted me to let you guys know about it, but um, I think it's really cool. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.